Hello, oh. YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Hello, uh, YouTube. Apparently, I'm playing ha Nurgle again. Happy oh, 4th of end. July. Yeah. Wow. Won't be going up on the 4th of July. I'm dating the videos with the only good date of the year. What about my birthday? What about 20th of April? No, garbage. What about Hold the up. 21st of Ju uh, July? No. But that's the next marathon stream. Nope. Ah. Oh. Well, yes, but oh. no. Wait a minute, no. 20th of April isn't a good date. That was Hitler's birthday. Shit. Tom, stop it. Tom. Stop it. Tom, I'm so you bad at so this. You've got so many things you could apologize for. Why, why do you want to apologize why? for names? It wasn't even the date. <laughs> no, April 20th is 420. That was the joke. That wasn't a joke. June 9th. June 9th. Uh, well, someone's. Uh, let's see. Now I'm, it's this? probably just loading slowly. There we go. Nurgle soft. Can we can we re re put this in? No. Two two no. re rolls. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Two okay, re rolls. Four big stinky warriors. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's gonna be annoying. Luckily, we don't have it. I love that indolent bedrooms uh, advert so much. Yeah. It's, yeah, this isn't scene two. <laughs> it's, it's okay, so this is two. this is someone who's mm -hmm. actually watching the stream, which is lovely. <laughs> what YouTube usually misses is that before I start spinning randomly, I say, please don't play anything I've played lately. And uh, Nurgle is the latest game that came up on my YouTube channel. <laughs> so I'm a bit miffed at that, I'll be honest. Maybe he hasn't watched it yet. <laughs> well, it's okay. It... <laughs> it's okay, we can do it. No more Nurgle for like the next month. <laughs> please. I don't mind Nurgle. Th that's not the issue. The it's issue not twice is, in a row. The issue is that I don't want to play the same team twice in a row. That's the only thing. Exactly. Uh, no more Nurgle for a month. But you're going to bed with no dinner. To do. Where is my. Oh my god, I forgot about Hail Honey I'm home. <laughs> Yeah, people in the chat are talking about Nazis. I mean, I don't know whose fault that was. Thanks, Tom. Ooh. Stop! Tom's Tom, been sponsored for once. by the Nazis. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so people in the chat are talking about No, oh, Tom! No, Tom! <laughs> Tom. <laughs> I Tom, 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 shut the fuck up! Don't you understand? I refuse. It's my favourite subject. Tom, you're being IB right now. Yeah. Oh. You're being worse than IB. No, Jesus no he's not. Christ. Yes. He's, he's no. Being exactly as bad as I. He's he's giving hey. us the authentic IB experience. I'm not this bad. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> don't go on and on about Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> it's just as bad. <sighs> oh, okay. So my plan right now is, since I'm open against Nurgle, they're going to be slow. I'm going to try and score quickly. I probably want to score with the Witch Elf, but I'm going to have the runner pick it up early. And hopefully I can run away. Um, so that's what his job is. He runs. That's yeah. His name. So I want to. I think I want to uh, score quickly and get rid of some of these rotters if I can. Oh, well, that's a good start. That's less of a good start. Um, so since they are kind of slow, I am. Trying to uh, use that to my advantage. I'll probably do a decent uh, screen down here. Then I'll have another screen up here somewhere. Um, Look at this multi screen. Okay. Uh, all I have to do now is figure out how to stab someone, which I've totally forgotten how to do. So that's really cool. Just block yeah, him. You just I block him. Do I just block him? Yeah, just block him. He uh, says, Do you stab? And you go, Yeah. Then Someone fail. in it's chat bad. should confirm that, so I know. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. Yeah, well, I know. Click in. You're untrustworthy. Stab button. <laughs> Here's where you click the skill stab. Does that do it? No, it does not. Yeah, um. just block him. They're, they're saying just yeah, block okay. him. Okay. Okay. 
then we'll just block him. Uh, first, we're going to have a few more players around here. Just really spread out, because I want to see... Like, right now, I don't want his two to be close together. I want to have them be far apart. And the guy asks if the assassin can kill the Nurgawis, the beast Nurgawis stab. Yeah, if he breaks his armor, but that's the... Apparently, that's the I, I, found, <laughs> I did a foul appearance. <laughs> Too nasty to, to stab. Yeah. So we're going to leave the Blitzer right here next to him, just because. That, that's... Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I, I want him to spread out as much as possible, because I don't, I don't really have the skills right now, since this is a fresh team, to do cool shit. That's why I didn't try, even try to block down his line here. He's got too much strength, and more importantly, this Beast of Nurgle has tentacles. So if he goes next to me, I'm not gonna. Well, I'm. I'm prob. I'm gonna just assume that I can't get out, basically. Um, uh, get away from him. Yep. So he's gonna do that here. He's probably gonna block this assassin. Yep. And luckily for me, now we block the assassin off the beast of Nurgle. Yeah, makes and since he already used his blitz, he can't really do anything more than cover my my other players here. And since he hopefully, I think he's going to spread out, uh, his uh, disgusting aura is going to cover a bigger area, but it's not going to be as effective since it's not going to stack. Yeah. And, uh, an assassin's best target is. Uh, like a war dancer, someone with low armor, but who's really hard to knock down. Yep. Uh, like, it was, like anyone who's got like high strength, low armor, but that doesn't really exist. But that, like definitely like a war, someone who's difficult because of block and dodge and stuff. That's especially good. Yeah. So he's. They want. Uh, they want the nice for the nice oh, I'm sorry. He's tying me up a bit. I can't really. Like I can't get I can't get this blitzer out. I can I can leave this guy and can run up with this guy. So I'm probably I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna swing really to the left stupid, hand side man. here and <laughs> see if I can get Excuse something me. done. Um, I hadn't done anything for a few minutes, so I had to make some noise. I should have well. moved this guy up here actually. Congrats on making some noise. Thank you. you should do the stab uh, first, because it's free. Yeah. But, um... Mm -mm. It's totally free. And that's how stab works. It's free. Basically, I just roll... Uh, I choose to do stab, and I roll armor value. And if I break armor value, I get to roll an injury. If I don't break armor value, nothing happens. The guy stays put. It's a really fucked up stab that you stunned someone. Just dazed a bit. Yeah. It's because the poison on it's not very good. And the fucking dagger on it's not very good. I'm pretty sure he's already poisoned. Then, okay. Yeah, he's, that's why he's only well, stopped. He's going to recover well, from yeah, it. He, like, he covered it in antacid or whatever. It's a really like, good knife. It's so high quality, you don't even know you've been stabbed by it. <laughs> what? What? Okay. Um. I'm gonna see if we can get this guy. Actually, let's get him over here. That way, he's definitely in range next turn, but it's not that far away if I need to score. Uh, this is a one die block, which I don't really want to do. Um, so, instead, we're gonna do a one die block here if we can. And we didn't. And the reason I blitzed last because I I don't want to blitz over here anyways. So it was worth the risk. I didn't think I'd get out, but hey, uh, doesn't hurt to try. Yep, you get no SPPs for stabbing, which is why assassins don't. Like they uh, and generally we're gonna, only we're get. We're gonna leave MPs. that blitzer there. Yeah, we need to do something. But also, with, yeah. stabs are free. 
so yeah. we need to do something with this assassin. He needs to he needs to get one skill up so he can get multiple block. Then he can stab loads of dudes at once. Yep. Uh, this isn't this isn't very smart. I mean, he can probably knock me in, knock this blitzer down uh, with the beast of Nurgle, but if he can't and they stay put here, or if he doesn't block, this blitzer can block himself free. Because if I follow up a block, tentacle doesn't affect me. Uh, so, if you want to keep someone put next to, say, a Beast of Nurgle or, um, say, a Minotaur with tentacles, don't have anyone else stand next to him in such a way that I can follow up with a block and be out of the Beast of Nurgle's tackle zones. But we'll it's like when you want to punch your way out of a bad pile of tackle zones. You push a guy and follow him up and you're free. Don't have to dodge or nothing. Oh, hey, look. That's cool. A witch elf that can surf people. How <sighs> Apparently he's not really worried about this line, man. It's a rudder. It's a rudder. No yeah. Oh, you mean your line, man? Which, which line, man? Don't know what you're talking about. Ivy's gone mad again. Yep. <laughs> are you talking about the rotter that is going to get surfed, or are you talking about your line, man, that's standing all the way down there ready to score? I'll say he's I, a rotter. I, I, Probably I've, 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 I've talked about both, so I'm not sure what you're referencing. <sighs> Never mind. Go when you said he's not, okay. uh, he's not worried about this. He's not worried about either of them. They're both poop. <laughs> One's poop, oh. one's safe. And it's the right ones. Wow, wow. I'm not really sure. Was that, was I, if, that here's really, the thing. Yeah. Fouling, fouling a Dark Elf Blitzer with a Rotter is almost always worth it in the sense that rot Rotters are garbage compared to, uh, to uh, Dark Elf Blitzers. That said, though... Uh, it's not likely to succeed. Yeah. Because uh, Dark um, Elf Blitzers have got... And more well, they, they got eight armor. Yeah, but, also. but more importantly... I'm not sure it's worth the risk at this point. Uh, yeah, okay. Especially not as your first action before you've done yeah. anything else in the turn. So <laughs> he he has forced my hand now a bit, kind of. Um, let's see, there's a Nurgle warrior there. Um, one, two, three. Uh, so I need to, hang on. Oh, can I go around this way? No, I can't. Um. Hey, that's a good start. And let's see if the assassin wants to stab the beast. Nope. So we're going to stand that guy up. Um. And now... Lovely pass. No, actually, the stink reaches three, um, yeah, three squares, well, which means <laughs> I'm, I might as well try and do the two GFIs and a handoff. Mm, I guess. Especially now that I uh, had to use a reroll. And yet, Vermouth <laughs> runs in and grabs the touchdown. Nice. Uh, the reason I did that that early was because my blitzer, my other blitzer was stunned, and he was about to surf one of my line elves, which I didn't really want, and I felt like I can put the pressure on him uh, to move the ball forward, um, since I'm still, I'm, I'm, I'm still mobile, which he isn't really. And he doesn't have... Let's see, how many Pestigors does he have? He's got one Pestigor. So this is probably going to be the guy that's going to handle the ball. So if I manage to get rid of him, that's going to be lovely.
There we go. So, okay, um, not sure why he did this. This is a strange uh, setup for offense since these guys can be down here if they want to. I guess if he's trying to make a cage back here, uh, which is again a, a pretty old choice, uh, like either put your, if, if you're on offense, either put your people on the line, especially if they can give assists and block opportunities or put them further back um, and decide on who's going where. Like this Nurgle Warrior now, since Nurgle Warriors have such low speed, if my opponent decides to go to the left, he can't really do much about that. And if he's gonna stall in the middle, uh, well, uh, he's it's going to have an interesting time. It's not going to be that interesting. Well, it's going to be interesting in the sense that I'm going to screen the heck out of him. Um, May he live in interesting times. Mm -hmm. In hell. Uh, I'm not sure why he placed this Nurgle Warrior here. Uh, because all, all he's doing is basing this uh, line man. But it's not that hard for me to get three, get two assists here. So he's just giving me a, a free block, basically. Oh, that's a shame. Knocked him down. Is multi block like picking up two stout shields in Dotha? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> Multi-block is a skill that's very rarely useful. Uh, yeah, so like Stu Sasha. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, <laughs> uh, that said, though, it, what what it is good for is um, uh, you can you can block two players at the same time, uh, but you okay. ha they get plus two strength to uh, each of. Um, uh, to their block strength, so it's very hard to do unless you have uh, a really high strength. So usually it's not really useful uh, mm. to to use it. However, since the assassin doesn't care about strength, it's all it does for him is He's double his output. Yep. Which is pretty cool. <laughs> Multi block on mummies. I I like it if the other one has guard. Is it good? No. Like the only time like that's good if you are against gold like strength two. And if the other one has guard, so you like you will get a good call assist. But there's better things. So I'm rolling horribly <laughs> on my uh, tentacle rolls. Uh, but and, do and don't let you roll before you do anything. So and if you have more block on someone who you don't block people who are stronger than you when you multi block. No. It, 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 here's the, multi block doesn't it doesn't like stack with almost anything. Um, it's like the main problem. Uh, then again, multi block is really powerful. So it's really powerful when uh, you've got a player who can use it, but it's very rare to actually have a player who can use it. You need like generally you need a plus strength. Um, guy mm -hmm. of some description.
I guess the stream's really quiet without Tom. A dark elf, a dark elf hasn't, a dark elf hasn't been hurt yet because dark elves have got like decent armor, mm -hmm. and nobody except for the beast of Nurgle on the other team has anything that would makes them particularly good at blocking. And the beast of Nurgle, I think he only has mighty blow. Yeah. Like, nobody's nobody's got block. They have some strength advantage, but it's not. Nice one, Dice. Yeah. Oh, well. He's too stinky. He's too stinky to do anything to. Here. Do, do, do. Uh, now the question is, what do I want to do? Actually, I'm gonna go back here. And you're gonna beat the hell out of that rotten with the witch? Uh, no. Gonna keep on screening. It's screening. It's, it's like a premiere. Uh, so we're gonna see if we can get away, which I don't think we will. Oh, should have said that earlier, I guess. <laughs> Just preface everything with, "Well, I'm gonna try this, but I don't think it's gonna work." Uh, do Tetris formation. This is the first time I've ever played against Nurgle where foul appearance has actually worked. Uh, but it seems to be doing great. Yeah, maybe you won't underrate it so much in the future. No, it's a horrible skill. Don't get foul appearance. Foul appearance is just when you try to block them, you need to roll dice and then... Yeah, and on a you one, you one. don't hit them. Yeah. Uh, this is the most it's ever worked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this game. In this problem. game, yeah. But, uh, on the other hand, like, if I'm gonna roll ones, I don't mind rolling them on foul appearance. As much as, say, dodge rolls. Um. Oh, I shouldn't have done that, actually. But hey, it worked out, because he didn't take the bait. What he should have done, she should have uh, the reason I shouldn't have followed up was because it left this blitzer standing here alone. So it could have blitzed the blitzer, and if he managed to knock him down, it could have run down his whole, uh, his whole cage in the middle. Uh, but I got really greedy with shadowing, and I wanted to get away from the Beast of Nurgle, which kind of worked. But it mostly didn't. This, however, he needs to move this Pinterrotter over here. Otherwise, I can get in. There we go. Okay, um... Uh Let's see here. What do I want to do? I need to save up. This is not strong enough. Um, so this is basically Dark Elf defense. Um, I am. I want to make sure he doesn't move quickly down the field uh, because he's not very fast. Uh, so I'm. I'm basically just trying to step one back one all the time. And not do anything else. Um, Apart from stab. Yes. And if I'm going to stab, the best guy to stab is well. Let's see, nine, nine. So they're east. 
They're equally shitty. Um, oh. And you can run away if you stab the beast. Okay, so that's definitely worth it. Um, let's stab the beast. Woohoo! We stabbed the beast? Yep. And I got, it, I got it stunned too, which is the important bit. Um, Congratulations on stabbing the beast. Thank you. And I'm out of rerolls. Which is slightly annoying, but can't really do much about it uh, right now. Uh, the question is... Okay, block him. Oh, nice. Let's see, who do I want here least? Um, I actually kind of want to tie these guys up now. Uh, but that, of course, offers a problem. Uh, because that means he also gets to punish me, which is not great. And that's the blitz. Uh, blitz aren't. But he's not. Um, this is always this is always tricky. I'm not sure. Uh, Uh, I'm not sure uh, if if I did what I was supposed to do there. I could have dodged away again and made sh sure he's not uh, uh, he's not going to be able to move very far forward. If he manages to knock the blitzer down, he can go through here maybe and push downwards. I'm not sure he wants to do that though because his warriors are all well, except for this one, are still all tied up. But, oh, he's going to move. Okay. Um, that's, but he's not going to move if he doesn't move that guy, because now this guy can't go through without dodging. Well, he can, there we go. Um, so it might be that I should have kept doing my screening, uh, defense. It depends a lot on how this block goes. It's probably, oh, he actually, I'll be honest, I did not expect him to dodge out. That is, uh. Uh, he has the rerolls. Yeah, but it's it's still way riskier than. Well, he was running out of time. He had to. No, he's not. He's got three minutes left. Mm -hmm. He no, did. He did as that. In turns, not. Yeah, time but he's time. not doing that either. He's got two turns after this. That was an a needlessly risky play. I have. I'm not sure why he did that. That's really strange. It's strange is the wrong word. It's. Um, it's riskier than he needed to be, basically. Uh, which is also kind of why I put the Blitzer there. That's why I'm so perplexed. Because I'm like, ugh, Nurgles, they're never going to dodge away. Uh, however, I don't think he... Okay, he's going to move this guy. Uh, oh, he's only putting a... Um, Cool, my Twitch just died. Nice. And so now I can't chat or watch. Bueno. Uh, okay, runner, go stand over here. Because now we need to uh, lock all of these guys. Uh, Witch Elf, you have dodged, so you actually get to go stand over here. You can go stand here, since you're not really needed. Uh, World of Cosmopoly tanks. You unfortunately get to go stand here and uh, and cover a um, cover these guys while this line man. Um, oh, 
Does he's... he get to go in scoring position? No. Um, he's actually going to go stand down here. Model things up. That's the guy who's going to blitz, but I think I might throw a block with a blitzer first. Uh, no, this is... I don't want him to... Uh, Okay. Uh. Oh, actually, we're going to move this guy first. Because it's more important that he's actually in... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so he's in scoring position. Uh, <coughs> let's move this assassin down well let's start by getting him down here let's see okay so he can get blocked off he can get blocked off um doesn't matter if this guy stays here or here no because the witch elf covers these squares so that will have to do So, um, even though this rotter here managed to grab it, uh, like, uh, I knocked the ball loose, so good start. Uh, it would have been lovely had the uh, scatter actually been better, but him having it is a bit of an issue. Uh, now, this Nurgle Warrior can block this runner, and this rotter can then block this lineman, and he's free. But he can't really go anywhere. He's going to have to use, like, this rotter and possibly maybe this warrior to run down and blitz this witch elf. And even then, like, if he doesn't knock down all of these three, he's not going to have a, a clear path to the end zone. That said, though, it's not like, I mean, it's not super tricky. It's... It's definitely possible. Uh, the big problem is going to actually be this line man here. Because if he doesn't knock him down, this line man is going to be pushed to either of these two squares, making it even harder for this rotter to move through. And that's not a great start for him. Uh, because now he doesn't have a reroll, which is good for me. Uh, on the other hand, I don't have a reroll either, so. Oh, no, he's not. he can't hand it off to the Pestigore because the Pestigore stood up. Well, I guess he could, but... Or is he going to... Oh, he's going to run this. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this this actually... This works. It's going to be a... It's a GFI if he wants to... It's actually two GFIs since this guy's got five movement. Um... But it's possible. Uh, but not possible enough. Once again, um, that was his turn seven. He didn't have to do that. He's dead next turn. Yeah. Uh, so what he could have done was just clear everyone off, get the Pestigore up, have another option for uh, uh, for scoring. Unfortunately... This guy can't reach the line man. Um, which is a slight problem. Because here's the thing too. Like, this witch elf can run over here. Do a handoff. And then pass. But this assassin is currently in uh, a bunch of tackle zones. Stinky zones. A bunch of stinks. Yeah. 
So I'm going to be boring and I'll actually try and score. You're just going to throw the ball really far? Fantastic. No, I'm going to leave it. <gasps> Down worst. at the bottom. Because I... You're the worst elf. Well, I guess I could try and throw it from here, but it's not gonna like it's not gonna do much, even if it lands over here. Uh, there's really nothing for it to do, and if I, it's actually if I if I go stand down here, just do a vanity pass. Yeah, it's not what could possibly. I could do a vanity pass to the runner, actually. Yeah, yeah. and the runner can just do a dump off if he gets placed. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna have to do that now. Like so. We just had a lovely uh, chat in the stream chat about how high elves are the worst elf. Yes. And that doesn't that doesn't mean that that doesn't mean they're a bad team. No, it just they're just the worst elf. Uh, that just uh, and the worst elf well, for me the the worst worst elf in the sense that there's less flavor to them than every like other the elf team. Supermodel. Like uh, yeah, dark elves, yeah. Dark elves are bashier. Wood elves are have amazing war dancers. Uh, pro elves are better at the passing game. High elves are good, and they have a good thrower. I think pass safe throw or something like that. But there's like there's no flavor to them. Like there's nothing that I'm like oh, the 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 human version of elves. That's what we all decided. And they used used to have really uh, cool and weird names, and well, they were cool in the sense that who the fuck's this? Is this a thrower or a blitzer? The li uh, lion warrior, yeah. dragon warrior. Yeah. And now, who knows? Okay. Can't believe you didn't. Pull oh that rock well. Three uh, that is that is slightly annoying. Oh. Let's. See. Oh, did it? It's it's scattered, so it's not in a tackle zone. However, I thought the rider was going to pick it up in the end zone. I I was pretty sure. I'm not sure why he moved. Maybe he already. No. Oh, never mind. Uh, 